workout is done and now I'm going to show you guys how I make my cucumber salad um, pasta. Cucumber pasta salad? That sounds right. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I make that. I haven't made it a long time but I used to and it was really easy especially to make in college because really it's just a few ingredients. Pasta, uh, red bell pepper, um, you can do cherry tomatoes if you prefer. Um, a cucumber, feta cheese, and some Italian dressing, and then I use turkey pepperoni um, as the protein in it. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it, and it's really yummy. And you can serve it as like a side to your food, but I personally eat it as a meal because the pasta is really filling. So I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> of like Kylie Jenner or no not Kylie Kendall Jenner trying to like cut up vegetables I think it was a cucumber too and she's like got her arms crossed and she's cutting like this do you, we all think that that was staged like she was pretending to be that bad or do we think that she was actually bad uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below I don't watch the Kardashian show that I saw that clip on TikTok, I guess, or a little Instagram short, and I thought it was pretty ridiculous looking. So, um, kind of a weird question to throw in the comments this time, and also don't mind my hair, but I want to know what y'all's thoughts were. Um, but this is how I cut a cucumber, so don't come after me. <laughs> Upholstering my dining room table chairs and I'm at Joanne Fabrics in order to pick out a fabric. My mom and dad are coming over later in order to help me. My dad has some more of the tools that I need and my mom's reupholstered before and so this is just a fun little project that we wanted to do together before I moved and so I just need to pick up the fabric and yeah and some like stuffing for the seat cushions since my seat cushions are really flat right now so I'm gonna go into Joann's, pick a fabric, and show you guys the process. Okay, so here is the old fabric and the new fabric that I'm gonna put on it. I can't wait to see what the before and after is gonna be, but right now my um, dining room theme is very tan colors. And then I have this cute little piece of plant in the corner. And then I got some extra stuffing just to make sure that the chairs are nice and fluffy since these are pretty thin now. Um, I don't give it some extra cushion, but I really, <laughs> I was trying to decide between another tan color and keeping it kind of more classy in here, um, but I'm like, something needs to stand out and I need an accent, you know, to the dining room, so because of all the tans, and I'm like, well, my plants may accent right now, and the tan and the green seem to go with the rest of my house, which is very tan, dark, but then I've got green little accents in the corners, so, um, green is what I went with and of course I had to FaceTime my mom in the middle of Joanne fabrics um, to get her approval but we both fell in love with this fabric so really excited for my parents to come over and help me with it and I'll show you the end result process oh gotcha <laughs>
obsessed with how the fabric looks and like I said it kind of works with the accent of the peace plant so I'm very happy with how this looks looks so good now that all that work's done I'm gonna go treat myself to sitting by the poolside to film another video um, on my new job update and I wanted to first talk a little bit about um, a really cool experience that I had at work the other day um, because again some of these vlogs it's kind of hard for me to really tie in work a lot of times when it's the same thing over and over again in the same type of clips so the best thing I can do for you guys is kind of communicate what I've seen and the new experiences that I've had. So I wanted to do that before I film this next video. And I posted about it on Instagram and said I would give you guys more info on it. But I had my first balloon pump the other day. So if you guys don't know what a balloon pump is, in the ICU and cardiovascular ICU setting, a balloon pump basically just helps the heart pump more blood and gives the heart a rest following surgery or a heart attack or some major event. So I had been trained um, for several months on taking balloon pumps, but because I'm night shift and we just don't see them very often, um, I haven't had to take care of my first patient with a balloon pump until just very recently. So I was super excited. I was hoping I would get at least one before transitioning jobs and I did and um, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about it. So basically just I'm not gonna talk about my patient's experience. Um, they were a surgical patient but I'm gonna talk about the balloon pump itself and why we don't see them often, what it does and that sort of thing. So just very briefly to give you guys a cool little synopsis. But like I said, the balloon pump helps gives the heart a rest from pumping and helps do the work for it to a degree. Um, so what it does, it's an actual balloon, hence balloon pump, that inflates and deflates. Um, and it inflates, and I had to go to class to realize this and talk to my um, nursing educator about it because it didn't make sense for a while, but it actually, the balloon inflates when the heart is in what's called diastole. So there's systole and diastole. Systole is when it's contracting and diastole is when it's relaxing. So you've got the two chambers, the um, top, the atria, and then you have the ventricles on the bottom. So when the heart is relaxed and filling with blood, that's diastole. When it's squeezing it out to the rest of the body and the lungs, that is systole. So the balloon pump sits inside the, um, oh goodness, I'll come back to it. And every time it inflates, it inflates during diastole. And diastole is actually when the coronary arteries, so all the arteries on the outside of the heart supplying blood to the heart itself. Um, diastole is when those arteries actually shoot the blood to the heart to give the heart its uh, oxygen supply. So when it inflates, it's actually helping get blood to the coronary arteries, hence helping the heart rest and get more blood flow to it. So while it can help pump out more blood and give you a higher cardiac output, some more blood to the body, its main function is to really supply the heart more blood and keep it strong, if that makes sense. A lot of times these days, instead of using the balloon pump, we've started transitioning to what we call an impella. And um, it's a little newer technology and the like the name implies, it's a propeller. And I have talked about the impella before, but instead of it being a balloon inflating and deflating, it's a propeller that actually just constantly spins. And it can sit in different portions of the heart, depending on whether it's a right side or left sided impella. Is it helping the left ventricle or the right ventricle? And that for sure increases cardiac output to the rest of the body and less so focuses on getting blood in those coronary arteries. So anyways, those are the two types of machines that I work with the most, but I have yet to work with an impella. I have during my training period with my preceptor, but not on my own. So this was really exciting for me to 
um, work as a balloon pump on my own. And basically my job was to one, look at the waveform on the balloon pump and see when it's assisting systole and diastole. And um, if the waveform is off, there's a way for me to change it and um, change the timing of the balloon inflating. So that way the waveform is more perfected and it's doing its job. Um, I have to obviously monitor all the lines and make sure that there's no blood in the tubing like the balloons popped, which is very, very, very rare. Um, I need to get my numbers on it. The um, blood pressure numbers on the um, balloon pump are gonna look different than what's on the monitor coming from an arterial line. And I have to constantly take those numbers down and keep an eye on them, make sure they're in normal range. And if not, call the doctor, intervene differently, and um, just make sure it doesn't get dislodged that the, a lot of times it goes in the right femoral artery. And we just wanna make sure that that right leg doesn't move at all while it's in there. So anyways, those are my big jobs um, when working with a balloon pump. And I couldn't find any really pictures that I didn't have to like pay for. So if you guys wanna Google balloon pump, and Google balloon pump pressure, like waveform, you'll see what I'm talking about um, and maybe it'll correlate better. So I wish I had more that I could show you, but I just wanted to share that experience with you guys because it really excited me. And that is all that I have for now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog content. I really enjoy doing it lately. It's a little bit easier for me to film a vlog than to sit down and take the time to write out what I want to say in from the camera. And I like being a little bit more like um, candid with you guys and um, it's just a little bit more relaxed when I do the vlogs. So I hope you all are enjoying and um, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep doing this for you guys. Leave me a comment down below if you found it interesting and I'll see you guys later. Tutuanana.